Hey guys, you're watching Explore the Weird. Are you into creepy and weird things? Welcome back, goons. I knew you were gonna come back as soon as you interacted with the video. The true goon smoked the like button on the way in before the video even started. I appreciate you. I see you. I see you, Jane. I see you, Hot Wheels. I see it. I see it. <laughs> um, guys, we have a great, great compilation today. I know, uh... The last one was kind of all over the place. We definitely uh, have something great from the For You page content. We're going to do more creepy, weird, strange, terrifying, odd, literally anything. Literally anything. It's my For You page. You guys know the name of the game. This is longer form content. If you're into slow, monotonous, barely adding anything to the video type reaction channels there are other channels for you i have adhd i talk a lot i have goon energy you guys are going to enjoy watching the reactions with me and it is going to be a great time so goons let's get right into it this is actually a flat plane mm -hmm. surrounded by an ice wall mm -hmm. with a dome of firmament above indeed that nasa is uh, hoodwinking us Absolutely 100%. And the media is controlled by people who perhaps do not have our best interests as their number one priority. I think that's uh, quite a fair assumption. Of Earth is a realm. It is not a planet. Earth would be more easily defined as a system environment. Earth is also a machine. It is a Tesla coil. The sun and moon are powered wirelessly with the electromagnetic field, or what they used to call the ether. Uh, this field also suspends the celestial spheres with electromagnetic levitation. Electromagnetic levitation disproves gravity because the only force you need to counter is the electromagnetic force, not gravity. The stars are attached to the firmament. It's Nikola Tesla. Right. Now, you know, people, he's not in history books. There's a good Oh, yes. There's a good reason he's not in history books, you know. History is written by the winners of wars, and, and literally the evilness of men, I guess. Wow, this is crazy. I've never even knew that uh, Nikola Tesla said that phrase, and it's just, like, mind-blowing. It's uh, I feel like we're so hoodwinked, we're so deceived, we're the definition of NASA itself in the Hebrew language, Teddy. Look what happened. You're deceived. Uh, yeah, but this guy is also openly um, <clears throat> admitting that he's a woke goon, right? He knows that he's been deceived, and he's like, hey, this is actually what it could be. It could be all this electromagnetic fields. The sun and the moon could be working off of each other. The earth is uh, generating energy as it moves. Whatever it may be, this could be uh, what a woke person envisions is actually happening. I am uh someone born after what is it the 1920s so the ether uh was never in my curriculum um but it is something to consider as if this was uh a potential explanation uh for why and how this theory existed i just can't in, in like imagine no gravity and it's actually electromagnetic fields and it's like then am i like uh energy that's you know not repelling but uh attracting to the to the opposite end or something it makes a am i like a different charge am i the positive and the earth's the negative or the neg the earth's the positive and i'm the neg <laughs> oh boy oh boy i'm just trying to figure out attracts and repels uh regardless regardless we're gonna keep it going you were an exchange student in the u.s yeah when you got back here in school what did you notice that you felt relieved about uh, no more multiple choice exams. They no multiple choice exams here, or or, or very few of them, if any. Really, they, all of my exams in the U.S. How do you answer the question right if it isn't listed as one of the four choices? <laughs> you write your answer. You have to know it, actually. Yeah, you actually have to know it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if there was one thing I heard over and over again from the Finns, it was that America should stop teaching to a standardized test. Get rid of those uh, standardized tests. National testing. The standardized tests. A standardized testing. What you are teaching your students is to do well on those tests, and you're not really teaching. Teaching them how to flunk a test, and then a bunch of schools fail the test, and those schools are turned into charter schools, and then somebody makes a lot of money. But school is about finding your happiness, finding what you know, finding a way to learn what makes you happy. It is illegal in Finland to set up a school and charge tuition. That's why, for the most part, private schools don't exist. 
And what that means is that the rich parents have to make sure that the public schools are great. And by making the rich kids go to school with everyone else, they grow up with those other kids as friends. Bro, this is crazy. I've done multiple educational systems. I actually did um, go to school LKG in India, so or UKG. Regardless, regardless, I've done multiple educational systems. You know, this whole multiple choice thing, it exists in other systems as well. It may not be used as much, but there are multiple ways to do tests. And this whole standardized test, no child left behind. ACTs, SATs, oh my god, we have standardized testing in order to get into our great colleges, our great education system, and it's usually people coming from abroad trying to get into our system, so why are you trying to come in here if our education system's crap, right? Um, man, you can say this about anybody, uh, but it is hard, it is hard, and I understand, you know, every generation is dumber than the next one, that is always how we feel. Hey, they don't teach the kids what they used to teach me. It's literally what we're going through. Um, and this guy has a perception of like, Haha, these guys all do multiple choice and it's so easy to pass multiple choice questions. And, you know, the lady kind of clapped back and she's like, hey, you got to still know the right answer to choose. And um, it depends, you know, on the SATs. If you don't know the answer, you choose the one that best fits. So it's like, hey, I have a 25% chance of potentially doing getting a 25 on this. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, very sad. I guess this is how other countries see um, the American system. But at the same time, other countries try to enter the American education system as well. Be like, oh, I got a degree from America. I'm like, okay, congratulations. You know, I've literally heard that multiple times while I've been abroad. And they try to make it seem like, oh, it's such a great thing. And I'm like, bro. I know the yeah, American is, is so easy. Are you sure you're the one that took the test? <laughs> Some of these other ones, let me tell you. All right, we're going to keep it going. CIA. Um, well, before we say Hollywood was created by the CIA, I guess I should clarify because, you know, first off, you guys do know if the Pentagon has a budget for film. Like there's a whole department in the Pentagon. I know that. That's a fact. There you go. That's, that's all you need to know. There's an entire department uh, in the Pentagon. They get involved with films, and they get involved with films for the purpose of propaganda. They always have hit certain people and this was before we called things promotion and marketing you know what I mean that's mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hollywood is not really there to entertain you like that's great that that happens but um, propaganda is something that is important to all civilizations what movies have I should produced? have said Pentagon instead of CIA Tons of them. I should show you the list. You should pull it up. It's right wild. Now, yeah, really Pentagon please. Department for Hollywood. Tons of them. I have to Even Transformers. This. Even Transformers. Like, you know, because they're concerned about certain narratives. They get involved with, like, World War films. Like, mm -hmm. how are we telling a story about history? Usually it's because we're lying about what we did or trying not to make Americans aware of the crimes against humanity wow. that we commit overseas, you know? Yeah, the mm -hmm. Pentagon just funded some films. Black Hawk Down, Red Dawn, <laughs> Golden Eye. The more you know. So now you understand your experience in theaters is what your mm -hmm. government wants you to think. They want you to think that this is how things happen, and it's usually not at all how things have actually yeah. happened. Six mm -hmm. of the best movies made with help from the Department of Defense. This is military. Yeah. Yo, this is crazy. I never knew the Pentagon or even the government entities were involved in Hollywood, especially in filmmaking industries. And that's straight propaganda being sold to us. And we think we're in a free society. Hey, Teddy, I know exactly what's happening. There's real things and real reasons they included all these uh, storylines in this film. Really? Really? <laughs> and we say we're free and there's no propaganda buddies. Oh my god. Yes, Cat Williams, Candace... Uh, Owens is definitely breaking my mind. I never knew. I never knew. And yes, they definitely told us uh, early on and they exposed it. I feel much better being woke and knowing this is a possibility. By the way, talking about woke, did you smoke the like button? Are you a goon? Are you going to interact with the video next time? Are you sick of me talking all the time and you just want me to go to the next video? Come on now. Come on now. We're trying to have fun. We're trying to have fun. Relax. Smoke the like button. Enjoy your time here. Hopefully you're still here. Um, 
Yeah, this was an interesting one. I definitely liked it. Let's uh, keep it going. My name's Lee Allen Baker, and I'm a California refugee. I gave up everything there. A really successful Hollywood career, television shows, gave it all up for freedom. There are these books that I have, and I have them as a gift for you. The Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights and the Federalist Papers, and these guarantee my freedom and yours and our children's to breathe Time. oxygen. Time. Oh, man. Did she think high-five the last guy that was walking? She should have high-five. That would have been the thing, you know? The high-five, you close it up. You're like standing ovation yeah quite interesting i think this is during covid times i remember this uh circulating in the news as well amy duncan i watched that show good luck uh charlie good luck charlie yes i it was great it was a great show uh and it looks like the mom is definitely uh standing for her rights and freedoms and we love to see it um and if you're not happy with it oh well we're gonna keep it going we're not trying to go political here <laughs> Teddy, she should have worn a mask when she said the thing. She was breaking all the rules. Get out of here, crazy Teddy. There were no rules. They just made up things. Teddy, she didn't have a vaccination card in order to... You stop it. You stop it. We're going to get another strike because of you. All right, we're going to keep it going. Oh, my God. Crazy Teddy. God never designed bones to weaken. Something is happening that is weakening the bones. In the Himalayan mountains, there's a group of people called the Hunzas who never experience osteoporosis. In fact, disease is rare. These people live in the mountains. They breathe the freshest of air. There's no fast food shops there. They're very fit. They live in the mountains, so climbing up and down the hills every day gives them strong muscles. When you exercise, you not only strengthen your muscles, you're strengthening your bones. The blood supply increases to the bones. And remember, Leviticus 17.11 states that the life of the flesh is in the blood. So let me give you the story of a, name, a girl named Helen who came to us with osteoporosis. She said, the doctor says I should go on this drug. I said, if you Google that drug, you will find that it, it will not do a lot to strengthen your bones. And it does have side effects, as every drug does. Looking at her history, I discovered that she'd been on the contraceptive pill for 15 years. The contraceptive pill boosts estrogen, and in the boosting of the estrogen and the depletion of the progesterone, it has an effect so that a woman doesn't release the egg so she doesn't fall pregnant. But the progesterone that is depleted by being on the pill is progesterone and progesterone is your bone building your bone building hormone in fact what progesterone does is it boosts osteoblast cells osteoblast osteo means bone blast means new and so unbeknownst to her the pill that she'd been on and she hadn't been on the pill for oh probably about 20 years now but she'd been on it for about 15 years from 20 to 35, it had depleted her progesterone levels, her progesterone stores, which means she didn't have her bone building hormone there. I also discovered that this lady loved having two or three cups of black tea a day. That tea, she also added a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Caffeine and sugar are both known to leach minerals out of the body, particularly the calcium and the magnesium. Bones are not made of calcium. Dr. Robert Thompson in his book, The Calcium Lie, he shows that bones are made of 64 trace minerals and 12 main minerals. Let me give you the 12 main minerals. The 12 main minerals are boron, calcium, chromium, iron, magnesium, manganese, selenium, silica, sulfur, potassium, phosphorus, and zinc. They're your, they're your 12 main minerals and 64 trace minerals. So it's not rocket science that the bones don't need 
calcium, they need they need the balance of minerals because bones aren't made of just calcium. Dr. Robert Thompson, he says the clearest indicator of a creator God is seawater because seawater has the exact same mineral balance and proportion as is found in the bones, in the blood, in all tissues of the body. The good news is we don't have to drink seawater. God designed for us to drink pure water. But just before each glass of water, if you take a crystal of Celtic salt, Celtic salt is a hand harvested sea salt from the Celtic Sea. And the Celtic Sea, the Celtic salt contains 82 minerals. Those minerals that you find in the bones in the exact proportion. If you take a crystal of Celtic salt in your mouth just before each glass of water, so that's an average of eight times a day, Dr. Robert Thompson says, all you're doing is replacing the minerals you lost yesterday. We lose some minerals when we perspire. We lose some minerals when we urinate. All bodies waste fluids that come out. We're losing a few minerals. We need to replace them. I ask you, what is avocado and tomato on some lovely rice out of bread? if it hasn't got some salt on it. What's a baked potato without salt? The Bible talks about salt in Matthew chapter 5 verse 13. It says, Ye are the salt of the earth. If the salt has lost its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden under foot of men. I'd like to suggest that table salt has lost its savour. You see, 30% of the minerals in seawater is sodium. 50% is chloride, so they're the first crystals formed. They're scooped up, bleached, and your minium's added, there's your table salt. And so one way to overcome osteoporosis is to make sure our bones are getting minerals. Stop her tea, all her caffeine, all her refined sugar, because it was leaching the minerals out. And she had to make sure she has dark green leafy vegetables every day. Now in the background here you'll see the garden with lots of dark green leafy vegetables. We should be eating dark green leafy vegetables every day. They're very high in minerals. The problem today is many vegetables are grown in devitalized soil so it's important to have organic. Organic fruits and vegetables are grown in soil that's been fed with minerals. They have compost in it which has the microbes in it to access the minerals out of the soil and into the plants. So to strengthen the bones, Helen had to start eating more greens. She had to start having Celtic salt every day, eating organic foods. She had to stop all the stimulants that are leaching the minerals. She had to go on the Anna's Wild Yam Cream, which can balance the hormones. Time to strengthen the bones too. How do you strengthen the bones? Strength comes by exercise. The most powerful exercise is the exercise that defies gravity. That's your rebounding or your trampoline. So start rebounding every day. Every time you leap up, the your bones and your muscles are getting strengthened. You hit the mat, they strengthen. You go up again, they strengthen. So defying gravity strengthens bones. Strength comes by exercise. Push-ups. Everyone should do push-ups every day. Have you done your push-ups today? Ladies, you can do your push-ups on your knees. If you can't get on the knees, you can do push-ups against the wall or against the, against the bench. You're defying gravity every time you push back. That strengthens the bones. So it is not hard to overcome osteoporosis. Stop the things that are leaching the minerals. Start taking high mineral diet, which is your greens, using your Celtic salt on your food, organically grown fruits and vegetables. Balance the hormones. And you can have strong bones the way God meant us to have strong bones. Wow, that was a long one, but you know, this lady is uh, 
definitely believing the things she believes and i've heard aspects of different things in different areas i think she was saying her what was it dr richard robert whoever it was um has told her a lot about uh minerals and what bones are composed of hey they told me bones were calcium and iron and all these things were needed to help build strong bones and she's like hey let me tell you calcium is not even used in bones and then in the list she says calcium and i'm like wait you just told me cal bones weren't made out of calcium and you literally used calcium in the freaking minerals list the 12 most important minerals daddy all right and then this started off with like hey there are tribes in the mountains and they have great bone structures and they're using their legs every day going up and down the mountains i'm like 100 percent believe you but this is the thing people get old Bones break. Bones get brittle. You know, not everything, I believe, is related to uh, the right minerals. People have bone cancers, right? There are issues uh, that can cause things for your bones to just um, have issues, you know? And then we go bone marrow transplants and all these things happen. And, you know, she makes it almost give us like this hope of like, hey, we can just eat the bone uh, cancer away. We can just eat these leafy greens. We can eat the um uh the black teas we can do all these things and it will wait was the black tea a good thing or a bad thing no i think that was a bad thing it was a stimulant because of the sugar and all that but regardless regardless and then she was talking about the celtic salt and i've recently been getting more and more videos where people are like hey in order for us to retain water and moisture you should have a little bit of salt before you drink that water and celtic salt is a great uh, thing for that we've heard that, that Himalayan pink salt as well regardless of whatever your salt needs are you do you I can eat my avocado toast without salt and uh, or I just said avocado tomato on bread yeah I can eat that without salt that sounds crazy but you need salt in order to eat that but um, salt can be savory as well so yeah I understand that uh, the um, her like message is how do we overcome osteoporosis, right? Um, I'm not sure. And I don't know if she currently has the answer. They definitely great to know that minerals make up bones. Definitely want to keep you using the right minerals. Um, but yeah, this, this one was a, a doozy here. I'm not sure uh, if all the elements prevent osteoporosis, but they're definitely good habits to have to keep a health, healthy uh biome i would say all right let's uh keep it going that was only like the fifth one what the hell why why was that so long crazy that you're 72 like you just you look like 36 or something and you're totally jacked you got like veins coming out of your arm you can do push-ups all day <laughs> if i want to run a hill i can run a hill i don't want to have a life alert i don't i don't want to get in the bathtub and can't get out my energy is just off the roof so i'm you know ready to go that's what people need to really understand uh, when we just sit down and just let it go that's generally but still people have difficulty wrapping their head around really getting on board even seeing you at 72 banging out the push-ups and with your skin and you know rocking the attitude and like the whole thing they're like yeah but like where am i going to get my protein how's this going to work like I, I i don't maybe you know babette is some crazy outlier and it's not possible for me first of all we're all the same if it works for me it will work for you self-love self-care educate yourself because knowledge is power. Don't walk around here being ignorant and saying ignorant things and keeping yourself in an ignorant space. My thing is you better educate yourself and you better understand where protein comes from to be able to say that I'm 72 and enjoy each and every moment. My time on this planet in this form um, is just amazing. The truth is hidden in a plain sight. We are one with the nature. If you want to know more about the herbs from our creator's garden, this ebook will unveil that for you. Let thy food be thy medicine. Guys, I really, I really hope that this is just, um, in fact, a natural way that she is able to like defy age. Uh, you know, she's biologically 72, but physically she does not look uh, like she's 72 it, and I'm not sure how the organs measure up I'm not sure what her blood works like I know we've seen other guys that are actually trying to reverse aging uh, this woman just appears to have very good genetics maybe she's getting some vitamins some energy boost some uh, IV help here but I I'm very um, skeptical 
I want to see more versions of her be like, hey, here's other people that have done exactly what I've done, and look at how they looked. It feels like a one-off type thing, uh, and, you know, I'm not sure what the end message is. It sounds like it's a positive message. Stay natural, do the right things, and um, stay active even when you're old. And actually, considering the last video, the lady was like, oh, we got to defy gravity. You got to get strong bones. And I'm like, bro, there are people that have bad genetics and they just can't have strong bones. And there's people that have great genetics and they can have unbreakable bones. Um, doing exercise is definitely a great thing. Definitely helps uh, strengthen things. But also exercise can hurt things, right? You can have knee issues, shoulder issues, hip issues. And now you have to go look for other alternatives. So uh yeah sorry adhd that was for the other video um uh, but yeah this this woman is uh doing great and i hope great uh, great things happen for her you tell me who these doors were built for us little people who are struggling to close this big door let alone trying to get that latch way up on top or was it built by a different people are people that once shared this realm with us. A much larger people. We truly do look so tiny next to some of these doors. Some of them even have nice little doggy door entrances for us to make it easy for us like little pet doors in them that is why i think for a large period of history anyways we shared this realm with them and worked hand in hand with them much like humanity there was some good and some bad and some in between but we experienced this world together question everything friends until next time I, I thought they had the big doors to get the big things in. Otherwise, you know, they'd have to get the big things in through a tiny door. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. <laughs> no, this is a quite interesting take. I guess they're trying to say, oh, Teddy, there were giants. All the little doors were for giants. Teddy, can't you tell? That may be crazy, Teddy. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I'm, I'm kind of in the uh, thing of like, hey, just like uh, we have pet doors for in our regular doors. Um, maybe, uh, it, it's not like that for the medieval thing. You know, I, I haven't seen any giant drawings in the medieval castles, but at the same time, maybe that's what they're hiding from us. And really there were giants the entire time and they're re-erasing history. And, oh my God, here we go again. Crazy Teddy, everything you, you freaking you blow my mind, Crazy Teddy. That's what's happening. You blow my mind. Oh, my God. Imagine that's really what it was. That'd be wild. Okay, interesting. Um, Yeah, we're going to keep it going. That is just... Oh, wow. So a lot of people were asking me for examples of primary water because they were never taught it. Reason being is our educational system was taken over by the Rockefellers in the 1900s, and then the media was taken over by Operation Mockingbird in the 1960s. So both systems do not teach about primary water, which is right here. This is the combination of hydrogen and oxygen coming in from inside the earth at a volcanic pressure to create brand new water, living water, water, water that does not contain fluoride, that does not contain arsenic, that does not have pharmaceuticals or drugs or anything inside of it. It's pure. And that's why back in the day when they were going into mines and they were trying to mine, for example, copper or gold or silver, whatever it may be, these mines would actually flood out. They would have to get pumps to try to pump out the water because the water was just coming in through the walls because there is so much water underneath us. But the media will always try to put the fear that we are running out of water. They start putting all this drought stuff and that we're running out of water. And then now, because we are running out of water, supposedly because we are supposedly using it all up, they're trying to usher in, for example, water police, water taxes, and all these water basically restrictions so that you can't grow your own food, you can't water your lawn, you can't wash your car. So it's important to be aware of primary water, the water you have never been taught about at the primarywaterinstitute.org so that you can remove the fear and never live in the fear that we are actually running out of water. Dude, this is wild. I never even knew about primary water. And I literally grew beer and I've gone all the way to springs in order to like 
ensure my water quality is perfect and I use spring water in this and I know the origin of the water because water is so important in the beer making process. Uh, regardless, there are so many things that this guy, and I've seen this guy, there's so many versions. This guy is like a wealth of knowledge. He's like a Nathan. We recently have a Nathan. I love Nathan. Um, yeah, this is quite interesting. I definitely... And for the goons that are like, Teddy, who the hell is Nathan? Guys, there's a guy that comments on all, all the videos so far. His name's Nathan. And he has so much knowledge that he adds on top of, like, my reactions that I just go back and I read his comments. And I'm like, holy crap, this guy, wow. Um, and it's the same way with Heist, XX Living, Dead Girl. They got so much uh, knowledgeable things that they add. Jenna Maro, Jenna Cole. Uh, um, oh, man, there's so many. There's so many. Uh, they're going to hate me. Stephanie, you know. Uh, she's doing great things as well. Um, Robert. Oh my god. The, I can't keep giving shout outs. I gotta keep go reacting, Teddy. But I love the goons. I gotta give the shout outs. <laughs> no, I love the primary water thing. And I, the water scare definitely feels like the next thing. They're gonna try and use the water scare on as, oh, Teddy, we're running out of water. You gotta pay for the water. Water taxes. Water this. Regulate the water. Um, and they're already doing that for irrigation meters and where I live. They're like, hey, if you got to um, water your lawn, we want to know how much water you're using to water your lawn so we can uh, remove it from the bill or add another sewer tax for that bill that you're using to uh, irrigate the water. I'm like, what the hell is this, bro? Just like bill me for the water and leave me alone. Nah, nah, it depends where that water is being used now. I'm like, what the? All right. All right. We're going to keep it going. <laughs> Is today years old when I found this out. It took me 19 years to figure out news stands for notable events, weather, and sports. Never knew that. When you realize the phrase is open sesame and not open sesame, that's that's not true. I was today years old when I realized a straw hole in a Capri Sun is the dot of the eye. That's wild. I was today years old when I found out peanuts grow underground. That is insane. When I found out the bottom of a Gatorade frost bottle is made to hold the cap. That's crazy. Go boxes are many to go on top of to-go cups. I never knew that. How many people actually use the holder for your gas cap? What the hell? I was today years old when I found out the lines on a solo cup are measurements. Okay, mind blown. The lower the number on ketchup, the sweeter it is, and the higher, the more sour. That is insane. You can put extra staples in the bottom of a stapler. True genius. I was today years old when I found Based on the day it was baked. Okay, that's elite. Was today years old when I found out stress is just dessert spelled backwards. Yes. Was today years old when I realized the flap on your fry box actually has a purpose. That is news. The houses in Bikini Bottom are car mufflers that fell into the ocean due to the pollution. That's wild. Breakfast is only called that because it's the first time you're eating since the day before. Hence, you're breaking the fast. Wow. I was today years old when I realized that pizza box actually folds into a stand elite that it's called candy corn because if you stack it up it looks like corn that's crazy when you first knew that hospital stands for home of sick people including treatment and labor who knew that i was today years old when i realized you could just click this button for the flashlight top tier and how old were you when you discovered the tongue rests on the upper part of your mouth did not need to know that Oh, wow. I didn't even realize the tongue rests on the top of it until he said it. But the news and the hospital uh, acronyms, I never knew the hospital one. The news one, I think I knew. Uh, quite interesting things here. He had a whole uh, thing of uh, crazy things that I did not know and I'd love to know. Now I feel more informed. The Capri Sun with the eye. Wow. I never made that relation that the eye, the dot of the eye was where the straw went in. Uh, for me, I was like, ah, I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to find other ways to drink this Capri Sun other than use the straw the way it was intended. Yeah, I was weird, all right? I was weird before I even started this channel. Oh, Teddy, you were exploring the weird before you explore the weird was a thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was just saying, Crazy Teddy. Come on now. Keep up. <laughs> all right, let's um keep it going. Welcome to the real world. So girls, what have we learned about grocery shopping? I don't want to be an adult. I don't want to be an adult. It takes me, it takes me an hour worth of working and I still can't even buy this. There's three. Literally. And it's, it's, it's three pieces of chicken. An hour of working doesn't buy me one thing of chicken at all. I'd be lucky if I got two. All that, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, that is called Bidenomics. <laughs> 
called Bidenomics, and we are very proud of Bidenomics. Wait, this don't make sense. So when, uh, let's say it's Trump and it's Trumponomics, you think this lady's going to be able to buy that piece of chicken in Trumponomics versus Bidenomics? Get out of here. Get out of here. This is a systematic issue that's been existing since I was a kid, bro. And I was a kid quite some time ago. I started driving when I was like 15 and a half. You know that? And I uh, worked for $6.75 an hour. $6.75 an hour. And that was like top tier, bro. I was like, yeah, this is it. I couldn't even get a full gas of um that tank of gas for my car like it was that bad i like i worked an entire week and i can't even afford to put a full tank of gas in my car and then like yeah i can't because i spent all this other things they took they docked me for this they took out this they took out that at six dollars and five cents so imagine them now and it's like oh it's twelve dollars now it's ten dollars now it's fifteen dollars now it's twenty dollars now whatever it may be you may be in the same situation because of inflation this is the problem we're in uh, a systematic failure and it is just something where we have to overwork in order to get uh the needs that we want you know and if it's not that you got to find a way to climb up on in this ladder buddies that's the only way um all right let's keep it going all the giant people all the giant people you get you get into all the giants and 18 foot people 20 foot people 50 foot people they're always going in taking all the bones and shipping them to the smithsonian institute so then you start to sit there and think why are you hiding that why are you not showing that there were 20 foot 40 foot 50 foot people even 100 foot you think of the big doors you know, think of doorways that are like 200 feet tall. You got big people. And why would the Smithsonian Institute be hiding this? Shouldn't we be talking about our history and who was here and what was around and the connection to the big people or the giants? And then somebody just commented, giant trees would produce a lot of oxygen that would support larger life forms too. Yes, the sequoia trees are absolutely enormous. Where did they come from? Think of the energy that's being produced by those sequoia trees. They're working like antennas. And you go back in time too, and you start looking at all these books before the 1920s, and you see they're always cutting down the big trees. Mountains that look like trees look like they've been cut down. Bro, that is so true. I'm starting to understand this old giant narrative. It only took me to look at the giant doors in the earlier video. Oh my God. Oh my god, and the giant trees. Dude, some of these mountains do be looking like petrified like trees that have been cut. They're just so flat. It's like, why did that happen? Was that a laser? Was that something else? What caused that? Why? What happened to all the giants, man? Are, man, are we going to go through this reset before 2030? Are we going to see it ourselves? <laughs> oh boy, that was perfect. I love this last one, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying exploring the weird with me. I really do. I really do. Let me see. What do I have? Did you make it to the end? I want to know that you made it to the end. If you made it to the end, let me see. What can I even take? Oh my god, there's so many things that I want to uh, talk about. Oh boy, it's because Kyra took all my things. Damn it. Find a thing, Teddy. Find a thing. If you made it to the end. If you made it to the end. Oh my god, this is so crazy. You made it to the end. You've seen the rainbow. I want to know you've seen the rainbow. I know this sounds crazy. This is Kyra's thing. She's taking all my things. So uh, I would love to know that you guys are watching the true goons. Let me know. Let me know. Oh, Teddy, I already told you California in the last one. Why you always got to get interact with the video? All right. We're trying to grow in the algorithm. It says the more interactions, the better. The better your click through rate, Teddy. I appreciate you guys. I'm trying to get to eight members. I need to get to eight members. I feel like that's the next thing. I get so many emails. It's like YouTube keeps telling me these are the next things you got to get to. <laughs> so I really hope I can do it. Please help support the channel. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe. Stay strong. And goodbye.